Well, I'm, my name is Marty Brown, and it sure is good to be here. And uh, I live in Franklin, Kentucky. How many has ever been to Franklin, Kentucky? Okay, well, I was born in a little old town called Maceo, Kentucky. We got anybody from Maceo, Kentucky out there tonight? Oh, yeah. All right, that's But I'm proud to be here. This is my brother Mike Brown on the harmonica here. I always gravitate toward the singer-songwriters. John Denver, Jim Croce, James Taylor, Carol King, Hank Williams, Johnny Cash. They didn't write all their songs, but most of them they did. They, you know, you don't just have something to sing, you got something to say. On my albums on MCA Records, I always put on the end of the album, and I'll do with this new album uh, when it comes out. I always put on there, uh, if you'll read in the liner notes, it says, you know, uh, God is, is the creator, I only, ho I only hold the pen. can still sing. I think he sings better than he did when he was in the 90s. His voice is more full and rich and he's just experienced so much more, you know, than when he had when he was in his 20s. And people connect with that. He's just a good old country boy, but when he gets on that stage, it's like uh, there's just a, an inner spirit that just takes over him. And when he sings, everybody can't do that. It's just something, it's a gift from God, it really is and that's what he should be doing. When the rain's blowing in your face And the whole world is on your case I would offer you a warm embrace To make you feel my started seeing these reality shows on TV and I, I just thought to myself, you know, that would be really fun for his fans to see, because he has a lot of fans, to see what happened to him, you know, where is he now, just for fun. And uh, I found out America's Got Talent was in Nashville holding auditions and I called down to Nashville and they had it and I just went ahead and signed Marty up for America's Got Talent and then I called him. And I said, what are you doing today? He said, oh, I'm writing a song. I said, well, I'm going to Nashville. Why don't you come with me? And he said, well, I'll bring my guitar. So he got in the car and we drove to Nashville and we sat down. I thought, well, I better feed him first. <laughs> so we sat down to the table and he looked at me and he said, what are you doing in Nashville today? And I said, it's not me, it's you. I said, you're gonna go do America's Got Talent. He said, I'm gonna do what? I said, and I've already signed you up, so you're going and uh, he said, do you really think I can do it? I said, what? Do I think you can do it? I said, of course you can. He beat out 5,000 people out of that first audition. Um, and of course, when he got that standing ovation, and I'll try not to cry again, but it really, it was amazing. I mean, those people had never heard of him. They had never heard him sing. They didn't know his name. And when he hit that last note, they just jumped to their feet. They sang my praises, and thank God they did. I didn't want to let my wife down, you know, because she had went to the trouble of tricking me and setting all this stuff up. I mean, if it wasn't her, I'd still be writing songs on land tile. My wife had stirred up a hornet's nest and got all this attention. That, that video has got like uh, six million views online, you know. And when you get that many views online, with well, the, uh, the big dogs start knocking. I've got Keith Stegall. He has not only produced Alan Jackson, he's produced Darius Rucker, Zach Brown. He's a great songwriter in his own right, and he is just a little genius when it comes to producing records. He slipped into the rubble, perched underneath his picture, sipped his crown and coke like a king. 
King up on his throne, I was swimming in the king, trying to drown some demons. One of the songs that were recorded was co-written by Tom Douglas which it's, it's interesting the way things intersect and connect, but Marty was in my office a couple weeks ago and he said, I've been writing with Tom Douglas. It's basically the story of writers up and down Music Row. And it just feels really timely because we're losing so much of the heritage of 16th Avenue with all this construction and stuff going on. And he got it, he understood it. And went, this is a pretty cool song. So that's why we, we recorded that. I knew he had that spark. I knew he had that thing that's different, that sets everybody else apart. But I just didn't realize how other people felt on the other end, how they experienced that. And I think that's what drives me to keep going. It, it, start, it is still for him, because that is what he should be doing. And most great artists that I've worked with, they all have that one, they have that piece of it, you know, that. that connects with you and he has that very naturally I think success to him is writing a great song and performing it if the other stuff happens with it then wow but that's where he comes from and he's dedicated and, and also extraordinarily talented